Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. So I was looking at my notes and I'm doing like week one of lockdown, week two of lockdown and week three of lockdown, what sold. And I had done all of my bread and butter videos and my big money videos up until I think it was March 8th. So there was like that March 8th to March 13th window where I didn't share anything that I sold. So I'm gonna call this what sold the week before lockdown, but it's really only the five days before lockdown. But I want you guys to see the bolos and the bread and butter. And I think once the lockdown is over, I'll get back to doing just the bread and butters and the big money bolo videos and not including everything. I guess I would like your feedback on that. Um, do you guys like everything I sold in the week or do you prefer to have it split into two separate like big money videos, bread and butter videos, and then just skip the um, like the clothing and stuff. What do you guys think? Comment below. I appreciate your feedback. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of different answers, but uh, we shall see. I like the bread and butter videos. I think they're fun. I like using my little bread and butter uh, picture. I'm kind of missing that. Okay, let's dig in. Let's look at some solds. All right, so again, this is from the 8th through the 13th of March. So things were still like a little patchy. This is, I think they shut down schools. Let me look at my phone here. I just want to be give you accurate information. Um, I think they made the announcement on Wednesday the 4th that schools were shutting down. And then the week after that, I think it was the restaurants. I think I talked about that in week the week one video. I'm trying to keep track of when they started shutting different things down and all of that. But um, so they announced that on the fourth. So we knew that this week things were starting to get a little uh, crazy. So that Friday, the 6th, I think, I think they were going to go to Monday, the 8th or the 9th. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, it's that week before they made the, the school announcement. Okay. So here we go. I don't know what that does. I guess none of that's really relevant to what I sold. Kind of is. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. So I sold these squishy Barbie Japan shoes. They do say Japan on the bottom. If you guys see these, definitely um, pick them up. I sold these for $8.25 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The Strolls Beer Tap, it's vintage. I paid approximately $2.50 for this. I picked it up at a garage sale. I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. This Barbie doll 35th anniversary reproduction doll from 1959, I sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Garage sale, couple bucks. Sorry. I'm forgetting how to do my bolo videos. Uh, these jeans, retail arbitrage, super duper old listing, really old. I was still taking pictures on the carpet. So man, they might be like six or seven years old. I've had it in my store. Um, these are the ones I don't typically show you guys because I'm like, it's a super long tail item. I bought it for five bucks. I sold it for 17 plus shipping. Yes, I still made money. I'm one of those people that I just leave things listed until they sell. Um, until I start having space issues, that's how I'm going to keep doing things because I have things that sell all the time that I've had for like ever. So I don't know if it's a good method or not, but that's what I do. This doll, I shared her in my Facebook group. I picked her up at the Goodwill for $12.99 and I sold her auction style for $199.99 and the buyer paid um, the shipping. And it went to Canada. This little frog, one of my subscribers bought it for $20. They offered me 20 and I was happy to take that. It's a little glowing frog. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale for, oh, was, I bought a bunch of them. So I got it for, I don't know, I forget, like a quarter or something like that, maybe 30 cents. And sold it for 20 plus shipping. The next item are these Maui and Sun shorts. These were from a discount store. I probably had three bucks or less in them. And I took a best offer of $11 and the buyer paid shipping. 
this clothing lot as i tell you guys i pick clothes up like this at garage sales all the time i put them in small lots i typically sell most of the stuff like this on poshmark but this sold on ebay so i took a best offer of 14 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping this egg lady hand painted egg i picked up at a garage sale for like 50 cents i sold it for 13 dollars plus shipping i think it was 50 cents maybe it was a dollar Lane Bryant sweater. I took a best offer of 10. I have a bunch of Lane Bryant sweaters. So if anybody is interested, feel free to come make me an offer of $10 plus shipping and I will take it. The next item was another subscriber that bought this off of me. Um, I really appreciate that. It helps me, you know, offset my time for making the videos. I'm not making a whole lot of money on YouTube from the ads. So any little extra helps for sure. So a subscriber offered me $13.50 for this and I took it. And if you guys put Bolo Buddies when you make the, like in the comments or the notes section of the offer, um, that helps me. I, I like to know that it's a subscriber buying it. I'm more flexible because you guys are helping support the channel. So um, I will work with you guys, but yeah, they offered me $13.50 and I took it and they paid shipping. And this is from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And it's super, super cute. It's adorable. The next item is these Lucite candles. I took a best offer of $35 for these and the buyer paid shipping. They sold super fast. I picked these up at a garage sale for $1. If you're not following me on Instagram, go check it out. It's bolo underscore buddies underscore um, resellers. And I do little video clips of different things that I sell. And I did a video on this. Okay, this one kind of surprised me. It's a Hot Wheels Red Lime Chrome Mustang, but it is in horrible condition. I mean, this thing is beat up. I can't even believe somebody bought it. But it went up to $13.50 with eight bids and the buyer paid shipping. It is a red, it's got the red lines on the wheels. But like I said, the condition is horrible. So, yeah, I mean, look, there's like a bite out of that uh, wheel. This bra came from a discount store. I paid six block, blah, 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 six dollars plus tax, and I took a best offer of twenty dollars plus shipping. These Lane Bryant joggers are a part of all of those clothing items that I need to list. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna list these camo pants because I have a bunch of them, and I've already sold four. So I'm really glad that I got those listed. I took a best offer of $24 on this pair and I picked these up for like $3 at a discount store. Playmates Simpsons World of Springfield comic book shop. I had like less than 50 cents in this. I sold it for $35 plus shipping and I got it at a thrift store. This Victoria's Secret brawl, I had about three, maybe two bucks, two to $3 in it. It just depends. I, I would go into this discount store and I would spend like anywhere from $300 to $1,000 and I would count the items and I would divide it out to figure out what I spent on everything because I didn't want to try to inventory all of it. So I just roughly two to three bucks is what I have in this. I took a, or this sold full price, $18 plus shipping. Another Lane Bryant brawl, nah, not brawl, sweater. Uh, I took 10 bucks on this also because the same person that bought the other Lane Bryant sweater bought this one. So I went ahead and did the $10 plus shipping. This David's Bridal dress was a retail arbitrage. I bought it off of the David's Bridal website when they were having a clearance sale. I sold it for $37.50 plus shipping. I can't remember what I paid for this. I got some of them for five bucks. Yeah, they went down to $5, but I also paid like 15 for some and I can't remember which one this was. Trifari gold tone bracelet, um, this, and this little Batman, somebody bought for $18, and then they paid the shipping, and this was from the bulk buy. This, and this, was from the same buyer. I don't know why they did two separate transactions, but I got to looking at these before I was shipping them, and I'm pretty sure they were marked silver. <laughs> um, so I should have paid more attention, but, uh, I don't think I told you guys. So this, oops, this one and this one were the bulk buy. I sold those for $18 plus shipping. This 
and this were from a garage sale. I think, uh, I don't know. It was like a buck for both of them. And I sold those for $21 plus shipping. And again, I have no idea why they did two separate transactions. It went to the same address. This 1938 American Legion delegate badge pin, it came in a bulk buy of stuff. I just thought I would try it. It's more of a long tail item. It's not in great condition. I took a best offer of $9 in the buyer paid shipping. Express Pants picked these up at a discount store for $3, sold them for $20 plus shipping. More of my Copeland plates. You guys, I've been talking about these. You guys know all about them. I'm almost sold out. This was a set of six, sold them for $30 best offer plus shipping. Okay, so I was messaging back and forth with my friend Leah's Bits and Pieces and I showed her a picture of these and I'm like, I think I'm just going to throw these away. They're in really bad shape. And she's like, no, don't throw anything away. And I'm like, fine, I'm just going to list them and see if I can sell them. I listed them and they sold super fast. I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping, but they came in a thrift store lot of uh, like it was a bag full, a Ziploc bag full of ornaments. So I had like, I don't know, a quarter in them, but I was going to throw them away just because they were in, I mean, they're in horrible shape. I mean, maybe somebody will paint them. I don't know. But um, yeah, so the moral of the story is don't throw anything away. These express pants, I took a best offer of $15 for, which is really low. I usually like to sell these for no less than 20. I picked them up for $3 at a discount store. This sweater, again, is a super old, 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 maybe eight, nine years old, so old listing. I think I took this picture at my old house. And I've been in this house for probably six years. <laughs> so um, I picked it up at a discount store. I think it was like a dollar, maybe two dollars. And I took a best offer of nine. So I still made money, but it's kind of funny. Like I said, I never get rid of anything. These pink Victoria's Secret panty underwear, whatever, hipsters, they still have the original tags. Got them at a garage sale for like 50 cents. Took a best offer of $8 plus shipping. These Levi's I picked up at a, oh, it was at a thrift store and I paid $3 for them. They sold for $22.25 plus shipping. The buyer opened a return and said that the item is a $36.32, which they are correct. They are. but. Um, the inseam says 32, but only measures 30. So I messaged them and told them that. And I typically put it under condition. Like, you know how you can leave notes? I don't know why I didn't do that in this one. So that was probably a little confusing if they didn't read the description. But I told them to try them on to see how they fit. And I'm guessing they fit fine because they didn't end up returning them. It The return time frame has passed, but I can't close it because nobody's in the eBay office to take my call. This is from my vintage perfume haul that I got at the thrift store. So I have about 33 cents in this, 33 or 36 cents, I can't remember. But this is Jean Couture. I think that's how you say it. I could be saying it wrong. But I took a best offer of $25 on this and the buyer paid shipping. Another Spode plate sold and this one sold for 15, full asking price. I was not running a sale when they bought it. So 15 plus shipping. This is a little black and white photo with color added. It's a girl in a purple dress. And I sold this for $19 plus shipping and it's not very big. It's just a little teeny picture, less than four inches. So 19 plus shipping, that one's awesome. I love that one and I had pennies in it. This USS Nicholas hat, it's a snapback hat. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. I took a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another one of those um, often toss cami things that I got. I paid probably two bucks for it at a discount store. I bought a whole bunch of them and this one sold for $8 and the buyer paid the shipping. So let's go on to Poshmark. I sold this mask and this came from a garage sale. I, it was a bulk buy, so I probably have about a buck in it. I sold it for 18. Again, Poshmark takes 20% and the buyer pays the shipping. I sold this bra for 20, picked it up at a discount store, store for uh, $6 plus tax. 
These Express Jeans discount store got them for $3, sold them for $25. This fringe uh, purse Express, I got at a discount sc store for a couple dollars, sold it for $16. This scrapbooking craft lot, again, came with a bunch of scrapbooking stuff. So I probably have a dollar in this. I sold it for 10 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Tommy Bahama men's pullover reversible. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale and sold for $25. This Victoria's Secret bra, I got it at a discount store for three bucks, sold it for 20. This Livy Active Lane Bryant Athletic Tank I got at a discount store for $3 and sold it for $18. And I do have more of these listed if anyone is interested. Links to all of my stores are down in the description of the video if you guys would like to check out my stores. Express Jeans. I have boatloads of Express Jeans also. I picked these up for $3, sold them for $25. This, again, I pick up kids' clothing all the time to throw on Poshmark. It's a great way to uh, get people to bundle. Nobody bundled on this one, but I did sell it for $9, and the buyer paid the shipping. This necklace came from a bulk buy that I bought at a garage sale, and I, you know, again, probably 25 cents, 50 cents total. I sold it for 16 plus shipping. This Catherine's bra, I paid $5 plus tax and sold it for $20 at a discount store. This one came from a garage sale. I paid $3 for it and it just looked expensive. I'd never heard of this brand before I found this. It's Helly Hansen and it's a good brand. And this sold relatively quick for $45 and the buyer paid the shipping. These express pants I got at a discount store for $3 and I sold them for $30. And again, I bought tons of these and they were one of my best sellers. They have slowed down a little bit, but they are still selling. For some reason, the buyer left me four stars. I don't know why, because they didn't say, but I got four stars instead of five. And I'm like, womp, womp. The next item are these Baby Gap shorts. Again, I bulk buy at a garage sale. I just bought all of the kids' items, all the kids' clothes, brought them home, sorted them into small lots. So these three pair of Gap shorts for $16. This I got at a garage sale with a matching skirt. I think I paid $5 for the set. I already sold the skirt. This jacket sold for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. Another Victoria's Secret bra from a discount store paid three bucks, sold for 20. Uh, I don't have any Mercari because Mercari is like impossible to figure out when the item sold. So unless I'm keeping it current, it's hard for me to figure out when I sold the item. So I decided that I wasn't going to spend like hours trying to figure it out. So I don't know what I sold for Mercari in those five days. And Mercari is like hit and miss. It's like a roller coaster, just like every other selling platform. Sometimes you sell like a bunch in a week and sometimes you sell hardly nothing. This one Etsy I sold for $45 and that was with free shipping. And it's super cute. It's like a vintage musical mobile nursery rhyme things. And it it does need, um, like the head is missing on the music box. Uh, it's got the little light switch cover. So really cute, but up here, uh, the head's missing. But yeah, $45. I picked this up at an estate sale. It was in a drawer. And I think I... Is the week before lockdown, before they even made the announcement, before we even know that it was school closures and restaurant closures were coming. Um, we knew that stuff was happening in other countries, but it was still kind of no announcements had been made. So that's this week, I do believe. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.